Light Finance, the world of financial freedom. Hello guys, it's Monday, May 27th, and it is time to start the market forecast for this week. And as always, firstly, let's begin with the calendar. Okay, so uh, today the UK and US have holidays, and apart from that, there is not much to talk about. On Tuesday, we will get a CB consumer confidence. On Wednesday, we'll get German CPI figures and a beige book. Thursday will be interesting. We will get a Swiss and US GDP figures for the Q1 and crude inventories. On Friday, we will receive a CPI inflation from Tokyo agglomeration, Chinese PMI data, Eurozone CPI inflation, US PCE inflation, and Canada's GDP. So the best is left for the end of the week, where US's PCE, of course, are the most important data. Now let's move on to fundamentals for Euro USD. So unlike at the beginning of the year, other economies are also accelerating. Business activity in the Eurozone has expanded fastest in a year. India is growing rapidly and Japan is recovering. The idea of synchronizing global economic growth is alive, which makes procyclical currencies, including the Euro, more stable than at the start of 2024. Moreover, wages in the Eurozone accelerated from 4.5 to 4.7%, which puts a spoke in the wheels of the ECB doves demanding a deposit rate cut in July. However, Bank of France President François Villeroy de Gaulle argues it is not worth tearing your hair out over this. The wage increase is temporary and explained by the German exception. In the rest of the Eurozone, it is slowing down. American exceptionalism or synchronized global economic growth? Which will win out? US and Eurozone GDP may expand equally quickly, leading to a medium-term consolidation in EURUSD, otherwise slowing the US economy and reducing the divergence in gross domestic product growth will restore an uptrend. We need new data or we can only rely on levels. The EURUSD's failure to hold above 108 will increase the risks of a continued slump to 1076 and 1071. On the contrary, if the bulls succeed an increase in the pairs quote above 1083, we will revive interest in purchases. And so guys, that will be all from my side for today. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Goodbye.